This time we are going to discuss about multiplying fractions in mixed forms. We have an example here, 3 and 1 half times 4 and 2 thirds. Ano yung dapat natin gawin dito o yung unang gawin mo? We are going to change this one into improper fractions. Paano yung gawin? Multiply the denominator by the whole number, then add the numerator. 2 times 3 is equals to 6, plus 1 is equals to 7. Copy the denominator. The sign, then this one here, same with this portion here. 3 times 4 is equals to 12, plus 2 is equals to 14. Copy the denominator. Next step to do, because this one is in multiplying fractions, we are going to multiply this one here to this portion here. 14 times 7. 7 times 4 is equals to 28. Mental 2. 7 times 1 plus 2 is equals to 9. So, 98. How about this one here? Multiply the denominators. 2 times 3 is equals to 6. What you have observed about our answer, it is an improper fraction. So, if it is an improper fraction, we are going to divide this one okay we are going to divide it 98 divided by 6 so how many 6 are there in this portion here 9 no. because 9 is bigger or greater than 6 we are going to use this figure 9 divided by 6 the answer is 1 1 times 6 is equals to 6. Subtract 9 minus 6. The answer is 3. Can we divide 3 by 6? No, because this one is lesser than this number here. Bring down 8. So how many 6 are there in 38? So 6 plus 6 equals 12 plus 6 equals 18. 18. 18 plus 6 equals 24, plus 6 is equals to 30, plus 6 equals to 36, 36 plus 6 equals 42. Parang sumubra na tayo. So, hanggang dito lang tayo. So, how many 6 are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we are going to align it here. 6. 6 times 6 is equals to 36. Subtract 8 minus 6 is equals to 2. We are going to copy 1 or 16. This remainder here as your numerator and your divisor as your denominator. Are you sure that 16 and 2 sixth is the lowest term? Sa tingin ko, hindi. So, we are going to reduce this answer to lowest term. The answer is 16. Ano ba yung kalahati ng dalawa? Isa. Ano yung kalahati ng anim? Tatlo. So, the answer is 16 and 1 third. So this answer is in simplest forms. There is another way in getting the answer for this. Paano ba yan? The cancellation method. Ano-ano yung ikakancel natin dyan? Itong numerator na ito at saka the denominator. Ngayon, can we cancel this one? Hindi. Because their common factor is 1. 1 times 3 is equals to 3. 1 times 7 is equals to 7. How about this one here and this one here? Can we cancel this one? Yes. 
What is the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor is 2. Paano ba yan? 1 times 2 is equals to 2. 1 times 14 is equals to 14. 2 times 7 is equals to 14. So, yung gagamitin natin na greatest common factor is 2. Ito na yun. Lagay natin yung 2 niya na. Copy this one. 2 divided by 2. The answer is 1. The sign. 14 divided by 2. The answer is 7. Copy this one. Is equals to multiply 7 times 7. The answer is 49. 1 times 3. The answer is 3. Improper fraction. Anong gagawin natin dyan? We are going to divide it. 4 divided by 3. Pwede kaayo. So the answer is 1, 1 times 3, subtract, 4 minus 3 is equals to 1, 9, 1 divided by 3 cannot be bring down 9. Pilakat tulo sa 19, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So mubra na tayo, there are 6 trees in 19. So 6 times 3 is equals to 18. Subtract 9 minus 8 is equals to 1. 1 minus 1 is equals to 0. Or copy the quotient, your remainder as your numerator, and 3 as your denominator. So Kung saan po yung mas madali sa inyo, yun po ang gagamitin natin. Kung itong cancellation is mas easy sa inyo, gamitin nyo to. Kung yung isa naman, ang mas easy sa inyo, yun din ang gamitin nyo. So thank you and thank you for watching my video.